Hi everyone, welcome back to Pokemon Ruby. Last episode, I spent a decade trying to catch Regirock, which I finally caught in a dive ball. This time, we're going to go hunt down Pokemon number two. So, you want to head from Petalburg City onto here. Actually, there is one thing I really want to show you, since I've now, you've got to actually be kidding me. No, seriously, you're kidding me, right? A trainer... Whip. Wow. Are you really sure you want to fight me, kid? Ah, yeah, this is quick attack. I was going to show you my Pokemon, but it doesn't look like I'll be getting much of a chance. Oh, he's got a Talo. Remember, when I had a Talo. That was a long time ago now. I am your mother. Probably is. Right. Well, I got sand in my runners. They're all gritty. Well, why are you running in the sand, then, you stupid boy? But what I was going to do was show you Dusclops, that you haven't seen in a while. So this is my team now. It's been decided. Shedinja is back, and I'm going to stick with it, because this attack stat is quite nice. Dusclops, I had a look at Dusclops and Claydol, and they're both really defensive walls. But Dusclops is such a better defensive wall than Claydol. I figured, you know, it's much worth it. And cradilly has got a really high special attack. I'll probably teach it some moves like Psychic and stuff. Anyway, you want to go down to this beach and swim directly down. I don't think I've got any repels left, but I will have a look. I don't. Well, but you're going to have to fight our way through. You want to stick to the left? I'm trying to remember exactly where it is. This is all from memory, by the way. A. The blue, blue sky, the vast sea. It's so peaceful. Yeah, maybe it is. What's that to me? You've got a Marrow at level 27. Okay, that's cool. Wow, I'm still... wrecked after last episode. Honestly, I've just started it right after the previous episode, and I'm... in ruin. But I'm gonna do it anyway, because I want to catch Red... I want to get these three Pokémon out of the way. I'm doing them... in order of the... that, to be honest, you should do. And it's actually in the order of least favourite to most favourite for me, which is kind of helpful. And apparently my most favourite is the most... is that one? My most favourite, favouritest, whatever, is the hardest to catch. So we will soon see. Hang on, I could have sworn that island up there is where I needed to be headed. But I think if we go down a little more, there's a bit that goes alongside which we can get round. But take a look. And we just, I really should have got some repels, shouldn't I? This is not going too well. Ah, oh, we've got to go this way. Uh, isn't it, like, round the other side of this? Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's round the other side. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you got to, like, go along here, surf up, and... Uh, am I right? I'm right! Here it is! Right. Island cave. You know what this says? Stand here and wait, and wait, and wait, and wait, and wait. To unlock this door, you don't need to do anything. You leave it on this. Some people say to walk in and out. I've never tried that. But what I know does work is leave it here. And I've been told in about two minutes, because I can't actually remember how long it was since I last played this, and I can't remember how long it was to so had to wait. So you sit here and I guarantee you it will work. Ugh. Hopefully we'll have better luck with this Pokemon than we did with Regirock. And then we can move back on with the story. Because we've strayed from the story right now. And our, our Pokemon's actually looking really good since we've been doing all this off-camera stuff. You know, since I've been training Way Wailma to a Waylord, I've basically been training off of um, trainers who wanted rematches. Been able to get some money, give Wailma the XP share, which still gets my Pokemon XP. And like I said, there is one Pokemon that still needs evolving, and that's Vibrava. And I'll get a very nice Pokemon once I've done that. <sighs> yeah, I think it's about a two minute wait. Uh, there's not really much to talk about at the moment, because I'll probably get... Even if I start talking about something fun, I'll get interrupted. 
Even if I talk about how I'm going to get interrupted, I'll get interrupted. So I'm just going to shush up. Let the music take you. There we go! We're in, I told you! Right. We're gonna save up once. Actually, hang on, I don't think my Pokemon are in right enough, good enough order. Right. Yeah, I'm thinking Vibrava stat. And now, we save. Bring on. Legendary Ancient Pokemon number two. Bow! This is Regice. Regice, I think is what a lot of people call it, but... The, uh, the one of the reasons I really like this Pokemon is because it's an Ice type. And in the Hoenn region, there are little to no Ice types. There's Sphere, Sealer, and Whelmer. Walrion, sorry. And that means if you've got a broken copy of Ruby and Sapphire, the one where the battery's dead, like me, you can't catch it. Because of Shoal Cave being flooded. And then there's Gla Glalie and Snorren. They're both... Ice, but you still need to go to... Sh so, this is the only Ice Pokemon you can get if you've got a dead battery copy. So, this Pokemon can actually come to some serious use when taking down dragons later on in the game. Especially when you're going for the legendaries. So, you know what? This is a very good Pokemon to train. I would highly recommend it. Right. I'm a bit worried that this Pokemon may know Sheer Cold. And I just remembered Vibrava's part dragon, so why did I put him out? Alright, a uh, little little them. Uh, I want to try out Sheninja, because I want to see if ice moves are even super effective on it. <laughs> Sheninja doesn't even have a very high special attack, but. Right. It's going to know Superpower and Curse alongside Regirock. And probably Ancient Power as well. I'm I'm not going to guarantee that, but... Alright, now I'm going to guarantee it. It refused to use Icy Wind, so I may be able to get off of that one. Right, I didn't, use a, I didn't do a Pokeball for good luck, did I? Wow, don't believe that. Ah, well. We're going to weaken it down. I'm just going to get straight into this. This thing has got a high special attack. Dusclops tanking it. Dusclops is my tank. I do like this. And I've always wanted a Dusclops since I was a kid. It's a Pokemon that I never had the impatience to train because I would just always spam the main Pokemon. But now I've got a Dusclops. It's just awesome. Anyway, you know, we're just going to do a Pokeball right now. Let's get this done. Ugh, no such luck. Hopefully this one isn't going to cause much of a problem as the... As Regirock. Tank it, Dusclops. Good. Do I have any moves that Dusclops knows that would be a real hit? I'm not going to do Curse because that would be murder. That's one of the stupidest things you can do. If not the stupidest thing you could do. Whatever. Here we go. Nope. Wow, it's missing. This is nowhere. In my opinion, this isn't as much of a threat to us, especially. As Regirock was, because Regirock was a rock type, and rock types are pretty threatening. Oh, Dusclops is just an absolute beast, and it's very, very rare you hear me use that word. <laughs> wow, this is going pretty effectively. You know, we will use our Luxury Ball. I think this Red Ice deserves it. Nope. He didn't want it though. Fine, just throw it back in my face. Right, well there goes Dusclops. Dusclops is going to be out. Yep, yeah, there goes Dusclops. He did good. He did good, Dusclops. Uh, let's get... I'm a bit worried that Ice moves are going to be super effective on Cradilly. But... We have Great Balls. And we're going to use one. One. Two. Three. No! You were so close, I thought I could have you on the first try. Oh my god, that could have been... 
brilliant. Oh, wow, and on a great ball too. I'm trying not to waste my Ultra Balls. I want to sort of evenly share them out between the three Pokemon. Sounds a bit weird, but... Right, we're in the same position because Swellow is once again weak to a lot of these moves. Ooh, it's Ancient Power, Icy Wind. You know, the usual stuff. So we're going to try another Great Ball. If I fail on this attempt, I'm going to go ahead and, you know, just edit it down. How's uh, Swampert's resistance? I think it might be super effective on ground, but not very effective on water. So it's a bit of a weird one. Alright, we're going to use a Pokeball. Nope. <laughs> not happening. Oh, wow. As soon as we get these three Pokemon out of the way, it's probably for the better. Because there are a few things we need to do like later on in the story. That we are tracking behind, to be honest. One. Oh, no. It's not happening. Okay. What have we got now? Let's use a nest ball. I had a couple of successes with <laughs> Regirock with this. Nah, not so much with Rare Ice. No, because I did get a couple of cool hits. You know, sort of a one roll. I think I had a two roll at one point. Like, I'm not guaranteeing that. I'm like deliberately losing all memory of that battle with Regirock because it was hell. I sat there for over an hour. Right, here we go. One. Oh, man. I got a one roll on the Pokeball. That's a good sign. If he uses Icy Wind or Ancient Power on Swellow, we're as good as out. And then I'm going to have to start editing it down. Yay for me! Even though there's a lot, quite a bit of time left in the episode, I'm not going to make you wait around and watch something that probably won't even happen. A little, 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 little. Uh, we're going to use Ultra Ball. Any luck? Nope. No luck. And, wow, it's using Curse. Why don't you just finish off Swallow with an Icy Wind? Do you really want to be caught secretly? Do you want to be with Regirock? I think they do. I think secretly. That's not happening. It doesn't like Ultra Balls. And it's using Super Power. That's... I don't, I don't get these legendaries at all. Well, we're out. Cue the edit. One, two, three. Oh no! Again! One, two, three. Oh, not again! I'm so close! <laughs> Can I catch it on this turn? One, two, three. Oh no! I thought that was it! I thought all I had to do was throw one Great Ball and we'd be done! No! No, 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 just like the Regirock one. One, two, three. Ugh! I don't care if that was an Ultra Ball, I just need to catch this Pokemon. We're almost an hour into recording. One, two, three. Ugh! Oh no. I'm going to have to reset again. Yeah, there we go. One, two, three. Yes! Oh, about time! One and a half hours. Red Ice's data was added to the Pokedex. Red Ice's body was du made during an ice age. The deep frozen body can be melted even by fire. This Pokemon controls frigid air of minus 328 Fahrenheit. Oh. That took forever. I can't even comprehend how long that actually took me to do. The recording's just coming up to 
an hour 36. So that means more, yay! Next time on Pokemon Ruby, once I've taken a nice break, we're going to be going to catch Legendary Pokemon number 6. I don't know why I said 6, number 3. My mind has been completely addled by that whole Regi Reg Ice Syndrome. But until then, guys...